everyone welcome to this video i hope you're doing really good this morning and we're looking at what is happening across the north atlantic right now on the infrared satellite so there are some older uh cold fronts out there right now but that next frontal system is going to be developing and it will bring impacts to parts of the caribbean as we head into the coming week so we'll be looking at the forecast in terms of that system, uh, the rainfall activity expected over the course of the next 10 days, and also for the short term. So we'll be looking at all that is expected. But for right now, nothing much is happening across the Caribbean. We've got a more stable pattern, which has set in. We've got a lot of that Saharan dust in the area. But as we're going to be heading to the weekend, to Saturday night, there is going to be a reduction in the quantity of dust across the Caribbean. This is a forecast and uh, there we are seeing that it's not as plentiful, especially to uh, compare it to what's forecast this morning. So much of the Lesser Antilles, well, all islands really have been blanketed by some of the Saharan dust, even the ABC Islands, parts of South America, near uh, Puerto Rico and in the vicinity of the Virgin Islands as well. And some of this is even managing to reach further to the west towards the Caribbean coast of Central America. But then as we're going to be heading into the weekend, as I said, we're going to be seeing a reduction in quantity of that dust across the area. As for the rain forecast uh, heading into early tomorrow morning, we can see that nothing crazy is expected. We're not seeing those uh, that plethora of those brighter shadings of oranges, reds, burgundies, purples across the region. So again, this is a forecast between now and early tomorrow morning, around 3 a.m. thereabout. So for most areas, there is going to be less than half an inch of rain. So there is likely to be passing showers across parts of the Bahamas, especially the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, uh, the Greater Antilles, Cayman Islands, even towards uh, the Virgin Islands as well, through the Lesser Antilles, and over in parts of Central America. So there may be some instances of some heavy downpours here and there, but overall, a lot of rainfall is not expected but down into colombia parts of venezuela it remains quite active there but in the guyanas things will likely be drier uh, compared to the past couple of days and things will also be on the dry side for the abc islands winds are certainly uh, still kicking up in the south caribbean as we're seeing these dark purple and these blue shadings as well so for the most part these winds are well over 20 knots maybe up to 25 knots and gusts could be even higher than that right now in parts of the south caribbean so it remains quite windy there and that's going to be the story for a while but then in the north not as windy especially towards puerto rico the virgin islands and into parts of the leeward islands as well now as i mentioned that frontal system is going to be bringing its impacts to the Caribbean. And now this is the 10 day precipitation forecast. So this is the accumulation of rain expected. So down in some areas such as Colombia, we are seeing those purple and even that a peach shading so the rainfall amounts there could be up to seven or even eight inches in accumulation but we have to remember that that area is going to remain quite active but as for the caribbean there could be the maximum of up to two inches or so as we head throughout much of next week with that frontal system making its way by so it's not going to be a very very strong front but uh, some areas will definitely feel the impact from it and as we take a look at the forecast in terms of that cool down, this is what Euro is showing as we head into Thursday of next week, a week out from now. And we are seeing those blue shadings, which are indicative of below average temperatures. And this is what Euro is forecasting in terms of how that front is going to develop and make its way through. So this is tomorrow, the forecast for tomorrow, we see all that activity uh increasing across the gulf and eventually making its way out but as it moves further it doesn't get much stronger than that however the tail of it may influence the rainfall activity for parts of the northeastern caribbean such as hispaniola headed towards puerto rico the virgin islands and even parts of the lesser antilles and in the wake of the frontal system this is a forecast for sunday morning we can see those winds starting to kick up in the gulf we're seeing some of these darker blue shades the winds up to 30 not with higher gusts and things will remain quite active in the eastern caribbean and so that is what is expected guys and of course i'll be keeping you posted on all that is happening with that front as it develops and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update video i really do hope you found it to be quite informative however 
If you have any questions, do feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise.